We really need to get better about organizing. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. Our first volunteer subject, Lance Corporal Texador. Lost his arm overseas and now just wants to hug his daughter again. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay. I think that should do it. You ready? Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Huh. No good. Gotta reroute this circuit.
Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? We did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. Sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. Call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. What's that? Hey, sorry I missed your call. We still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but yeah, we should talk over dinner. Offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. All right, dinner at MJ's. No expectations. Be hard to screw this one up. Guess I'll just freelance for a while until she calls. against the spurious claims from McDonald Mac Gargan, a.k.a. The Scorpion. Yes, as I fully disclosed, I bankrolled the experiment that gave him superior strength, speed, and that unsightly cyborg tail. The idea was to create an anti-Spider-Man who is not a threat and stops menaces. I had no idea he was crazy. Do you think his resume said psycho with a poisoning fetish? His lawsuit is a transparent attempt to reduce his sentence at the raft by placing the blame for his deeds on me. And that is one package J. Jonah Jameson refuses. like putting my skills to good use. Hey, MJ. All right, I picked up a bunch of stuff at the store. Can't wait to see what you come up with. 
Swinging over now. Prepare to be amazed. <laughs> Ground teams, report on the situation in the Flatiron. Demons are attacking outpost Romeo. Send back up. You are not gonna believe what happened. So you know that address you gave me? I went there. MJ. I know, I know, but wait. What is this? Just listen. This is the address Pete found. Men are all carrying firearms. What is this place? office. Might be something inside that connects this to Lee. Need to get back there. Huh? What was that? What dumbass can't put their shit away? Bet it was happy. Martin Lee's really paying the boss? Yeah. We Yo, built this war beast for oh, Lee. He finances the boss's new venture. Need to get into that office. You better clean your slag off that sloppy well. That he'll be pissed. What are they building? Is this all for me? Careful. Am I hearing things? This place is creeping me out. Easy does it. Damn, I'm being paranoid. What kind of vehicle needs tires this big? Where is it? I swear I left it over here. There. Hey, anyone pick up more beer after our last run? Nothing. Eyes are playing tricks on me. That guy's not going anywhere. Maybe I can distract him. Where is it? I swear I left it over here.
is it? I swear I left it over here. What was that sound? Where is it? I swear I left it over here. Anyone pick up more beer after our last run? What is this? Some kind of military hardware? Office must be to my right. Need to move careful through here. Those barrels seem important. Alchemax. Why is that so familiar? What's in these? Fuck! Come on! We'll never notice! Stone. You're right, Rick. Uh, won't notice? Because uh, it won't be there. Uh, God damn it! I said I'll fix it! Uh, uh, you got some stones, Rick. <laughs> Let's see if they break. Such a disappointment. And now I need a new welder. Blueprints. An APC. This is what they're building for Lee. But why does he need an armored vehicle? There must be something else in this office. Here we go. GPS trackers. What is Tombstone using these for? All right, boys. Time to move. Get the gear for my office. Time to go. Okay, I want to say don't ever do that again, but since I know you're going to anyway, here. Take a few of those next time. Nice. Thanks. You know Tombstone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is... whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> it smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, just needs some time to simmer. No dumplings, I hope. You're never going to let me live that one down, are you? Nope. The Great Dumpling Catastrophe. 
I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. I know, and in January, too. <laughs> Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were pretty happy when we broke up. <laughs> yeah. So, let's talk about what you found in Lee's office. Well, Lee clearly has issues with Norman Osborne. Yeah, but, but why? I don't know yet. But his next move looks like it involves devil's breath, whatever that is. Yeah. I'll dig into it. So I was thinking, what if we teamed up? What, what you want to be my sidekick? What, like a spider girl? Spider woman. No. Woman. No, not a sidekick. A partner. Oh. Not again. Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break-in. Charles Standish. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Oh, Oscorp CFO. Wait. You don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? Sorry to cook and run. Did, did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Uh... Where do you want me to, uh... Just a couch is fine. <laughs> See you later? Yeah. This curry is legit. So what do we know about Charles Standish? Let's see. Chief Financial Officer at Oscorp. Single. Known for his art collection. If Lee's after him, it's gotta be related to Devil's Breath. I'll run a search on everything in that file. Let me know the second you find something. I think Lee might be planning something even worse than City Hall. So, are we partners now? Cause it sure feels like we are. Partners! Uh, sounds good! Okay. See ya, partner. Police look like they could use some help. Somebody was in a hurry. Spider-Man! You're hurt. I'm okay. But you gotta find Mr. Standish, fast. Those guys in the masks kidnapped him and forced him up to his place. He lives in the penthouse, top floor. Okay, sit tight. So glad you're here. You can't find my car. I have sworn I parked on this level. <laughs> Oh, 
You guys work here too? This building is serious about parking enforcement. Fight! A for effort! Elevator won't work. They know I'm here. But maybe I can sneak up through the elevator shaft. Should be able to make it up to the penthouse from here. Touch it now! Ding ding ding! Touch it again, you don't it! there. Building. Fire bombs? Seriously? Now what? Enter your password. He sounds nervous. Maybe I should take him out. Need to clear the room before I talk to Standish. Yeah. 
Okay, all clear. Hope Standish is all right. Let's try this again. It's safe now. What were they after? Just financial records. About Devil's Breath? How do you know about that? Why do they want it? I don't even know what it is. Mr. Osborne's been pouring money into it for years, but he keeps the whole project a secret. I'm the only one who has any record of it. Not anymore. Looks like they copied some records to a secure server. Payroll information. On a Dr. Isaac Delaney. Who is he? I, I honestly don't know. Down! <laughs> Come on, come on! Wait, the elevator! <gasps> Okay? Yeah. I think so. Good. Good. You know, as elevator shafts go, this is pretty nice. <laughs> hey, Yuri. You okay? Yeah. But I didn't get much out of Standish before these Sable guys stepped in and told me to back off. What's the deal? I get the sense all they care about is keeping him quiet. Because he knows about Devil's Breath. Right. Whatever the hell that is. I'm working on that. I think I just got a lead. A lead? You sound like a cop. Don't you mean... Spider Cop? Uh, Yuri? That's fair. Peter, what happened with Standish? He's safe. Okay, good. They were looking for a name. You got a pen? Yeah, go. Dr. Isaac Delaney. Okay. Who is he? What's his deal? I was hoping you could tell me. I'm on it. Just give me a few. Oh, and before I forget, you left that tracker from Tombstones at my place. I'll drop it at Dr. Octavius's lab. Let you know what I find on Delaney. Additional units requested immediately to contain multiple hospitals.